The film is set in a future where the United States has plunged into a second civil war. Texas and California have seceded, forming the Western Forces Militia, while Florida has established its own alliance. The three-term president, Nick Offerman, declares a significant victory for the Loyalist states after a severe blow to the Western forces. Photojournalist Lee Smith, Kirsten Dunst, watches the president's speech from her hotel room in New York City and witnesses a bombing downtown. The next day, Lee and her colleague Joel, Wagner Mora, head downtown amid a protest. Amidst the chaos, a young journalist, Jesse Cullen, Kelly Spaney, is struck in the face. Lee tends to her, giving Jesse her fluorescent vest. Suddenly, a woman carrying an American flag charges into the crowd and detonates a suicide bomb. After the explosion, Lee and Jesse document the aftermath with their cameras. Later, Lee and Joel meet their mentor, Sammy, Stephen McKinley Henderson, at a hotel party for journalists. They plan a dangerous journey through war zones to Washington, D.C. for an interview with the president, who views the press as adversaries. Despite his age, Sammy insists on joining them to the front lines in Charlottesville, Virginia. Overhearing this, Jesse approaches Lee, expressing her admiration and desire to capture the unfolding war through her lens. The group gets ready to head out the next day, with Lee seeing Jesse joining them. She and Joel have a not very discreet conversation about both Jesse and Sammy being with them, but Joel assures her they will be no trouble. After driving for some time, they stop to fuel up, which they are only allowed to do in exchange for Canadian currency. One of the gunmen leads Jesse away, where Lee follows. He brings her to see two looters hanged by their wrists after being severely tortured. The gunman gives Lee and Jesse the option to give him the call to execute them. Lee just asks him to pose alongside the men for a picture before he kills them off screen. When they hit the road, Jesse complains that she didn't capture a single photo. The group stops at an abandoned mall so that Jesse can take pics of a downed helicopter, while also apologizing to Lee about if she seems like a load to travel with, but Lee doesn't care. At night, they sit and watch the gunfire going on in the distance as it lights up the sky. Moving on, the four must pass through a sniper zone, staying alive while also getting the perfect shots. They witness as several men are shot in front of them. The group follows the allied militia gunmen up the building where they take the sniper out and capture the rest of his men. The four then arrive at a refugee camp. In the middle of relaxing and feeding themselves, Lee and Jesse continue to bond while Jesse develops photos that she took during the sniper hunt. Jesse brings up the start of Lee's career, where she got the perfect shot of an Antifa massacre event. Lee tells Jesse that she took great photos. The group then spends the night in good company. Continuing their journey, the four stop in a town that appears unaffected by the ongoing war, as people are seen living peacefully. The group stops to change clothes, and Joel asks the shop owner if they are aware that there is a civil war going on across the country, but the woman tells Joel that the town is choosing to ignore it. Later on, the group sees that a car is speeding to catch up to them. Fearing the worst, they are surprised that it's Joel's reporter friends from Hong Kong, Tony, Nelson Lee, and Bohai, Evan Lai. Tony climbs in through the window of the group's van for fun, and Jesse does the same going into Tony's car with Bohai. They drive further up until the other journalists see that the other car has stopped with both doors open. They find themselves confronted by loyalist gunmen who have been murdering people passing by and dumping them into shallow graves. The head gunman, Jesse Plemons, shoots Bohai and leaves the others quietly panicking. Joel tries to talk him down by saying they are Americans. When the gunman learns Tony is from Hong Kong, he shoots him too. Sammy then drives the van and kills the gunman and one of his guys before getting Lee, Joel, and Jesse back inside. One remaining gunman fires at them as they drive away. Escaping the gunman, Jesse vomits in the back while Sammy tells Lee and Joel he can no longer drive because he's been shot. Joel takes over the car and drives until they make their way to a Western Forces military base in Charlottesville, driving through a burning forest. By the time they arrive at the camp, Sammy has already died from his wounds. The group meets with a British reporter named Anya, Sonoya Mizuno. It is said that some loyalist generals have already surrendered, which makes all the trouble they went through, including losing Sammy, incredibly pointless. Lee, Joel, and Jesse join the WF as they make their way into Washington with intent to storm the White House and get their hands on the president. Once they enter the war zone, 
Jessie becomes as ready as ever to get her pictures, while Lee remains in shock numbness to what's going on. The journalists take cover as the WF tanks mow through the remaining Loyalist forces before they make their way to the heavily guarded White House. The Secret Service appears to be taking the president with them, but the soldiers know it's a decoy. The group makes their way into the White House, where they are met by more armed Secret Service agents. Jessie nearly gets in the way, but Lee pushes her out and takes a bullet for her. Jessie ends up taking multiple pictures of Lee's final moments before she and Joel get into the Oval Office, where the WF soldiers hold the president down. Joel, filled with anger over losing his friends, then kneels to ask the president for a single quote. He begs Joel not to let the soldiers kill him, to which Joel responds with, that'll do. The president is executed, and Jesse gets a great shot of it. No, no, no.